broke the rules of the solar system. An enormous interstellar object just changed course not from gravity, not from gas, but from something we can't explain. This large object should not move in this manner. Scientists are stunned. If this isn't a glitch, what force is rewriting the cosmos? The city is attacked by a cosmic outlaw the day before July 1, 2025. Additionally, at 4 o'clock UTC, Hawaii's telescopes picked up something strange. A small dot was moving fast through the sky too fast for a normal comet. It was first spotted at a distance of 4.5 astronomical units that's 4.5 times farther than Earth is from the Sun. Around 12 hours later, observatories around the world confirmed it. This object was not from our solar system. It moved fast enough over 58 kilometers per second to escape the sun's gravity forever. Scientists named it 3I Atlas, the third known object to fly in from another star system. Before this, we had Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. However, this new arrival would break even more rules. Unlike Aumuamua, a small, rocky body, and Borisov, which looked like a typical comet, Atlas didn't fit the pattern. Its core, called the nucleus, is between 5 and 11 kilometers wide, making it the largest interstellar object ever seen. For comparison, Halley's Comet is only about 11 kilometers across, and it is already considered huge. Atlas also had an active comb of the glowing cloud of gas and dust that encircles a comet. However, something didn't add up. The way it moved through space didn't match the forces acting on it. Comets usually follow paths shaped by gravity, sunlight, and gas jets. But this one was drifting off course. Astronomers compared their predicted models with reality. What they found wasn't a small error, it was a repeatable, measurable drift. Something was pushing Atlas off course, and the usual explanations weren't enough. Gravity alone couldn't explain it, and neither could sunlight or gas. When an object like a comet enters the solar system, scientists use math to figure out its course. They examine its mass, speed, and how gravity from the sun and nearby planets will pull on it. These calculations usually work very well. That's how we send spacecraft across billions of kilometers and hit tiny targets. However, with 3i, Atlas, something was off. Scientists ran their numbers again and again using tools that had worked for decades. But no matter how carefully they calculated, Atlas didn't go where it was supposed to. The initial alterations were minor. These are known as residual small differences between where something should be and where it actually is. In most cases, these can be explained by things like gas jets on a comet's surface. However, with Atlas, the differences kept growing. They weren't random, either. They were consistent. There was neither a measurement error nor a broken telescope. The object was drifting steadily and slowly in a manner that didn't match any known force. By mid-July 2025, the problem became clear. Atlas was not following the path predicted by gravity and gas alone. To find answers, scientists turned to the material from the comet. Its glowing tail, or coma, holds the key to its chemistry. By analyzing the gas and dust it releases, we can learn what it's made of and what might be pushing it. However, the closer we looked at Atlas's coma, the stranger the story became. When a comet gets close to the sun, its surface begins to warm. Ice inside turns into gas, resulting in a glowing cloud around it. This is called a coma, and it's one of the most useful subjects for study. The gas and dust in a coma inform scientists of what the comet is made of and how much material it's losing. The coma for 3i Atlas was bright and active, just like many comets before it. However, what followed shocked astronomers. The James Webb Space Telescope locked onto Atlas and found something never seen before. Most comets in our solar system release a lot of water vapor. Some also produce carbon dioxide CO, but in smaller amounts, not Atlas. The tests revealed that for every water molecule, there were about eight molecules of CO. That's an eight to one ratio completely backwards from what we're used to. In some cases, comets have more CO when they are far from the sun. However, Atlas wasn't that far away. 
it was already within three astronomical units. This CO heavy reading made it clear. Atlas was born in a very distinct location. It might have arrived from a star system in which CO ice is more common, or from an extremely cold region where water remained trapped deep within. The coma's chemistry was already strange, but it didn't stop there. As scientists examined the light from Atlas more closely, they found something even more unusual, a void. It was about more than just what was there, it was about what wasn't. And what they found challenged the very building blocks of how comets form. Scientists continued watching three Atlas. They used powerful tools like the very large telescope VLT in Chile to study the light coming from its coma. By breaking that light apart, they could see which molecules and atoms were present in the illuminated regions. This method, called spectroscopy, is like reading a chemical fingerprint. What they found next wasn't just surprising, it was confusing. The telescope showed strong signals of nickel atoms, about 4.7 times 10 atoms per second. But something important was missing. There was no trace of iron. Normally, nickel and iron appear together. They're formed in the same way in the hearts of supernovae, the giant star explosions that create heavy elements. Every comet, meteorite, and asteroid we've ever studied has both metals in similar amounts. But three Atlas broke that pattern, only nickel was showing up in the data. Scientists thought maybe it was a measurement problem, but the readings were uniform across various instruments. And as the comet moved closer to the sun, the amount of nickel being released grew rapidly as it should if sunlight was heating the surface. But even with its strange chemistry, one unexpected issue remained, motion. Atlas was drifting in space in ways it shouldn't. Even with all the gas, dust, and metals it was releasing, it still shouldn't have been moving that much. The force just didn't add up. So scientists looked back at the basics, how much mass the object had, and that made the mystery even deeper. If you blow on a balloon, it moves. That's the same idea scientists use to explain how comets drift. When sunlight hits a comet, it heats up. Eyes on the surface turns into gas and shoots out like a jet. This gas pushes against the comet, changing its direction slightly. We call this outgassing, a process studied extensively. In 2014, the Rosetta mission followed Comet 67P Churyumovgarasi Menko, watching how gas jets changed the comet's spin and orbit. The model worked perfectly for comets we understand. However, Atlas is in a different league. Atlas is huge. Its nucleus is between 5 and 11 kilometers wide, meaning it could weigh billions of tons. That is a thousand times more massive than Aumuamua, the first interstellar visitor. To move something that heavy, you need a strong push. But the outgassing from Atlas didn't have that kind of power. Scientists measured the dust and gas loss. The Hubble Space Telescope showed that Atlas was losing between 6 and 60 kilos of dust per second. The Swift telescope detected about 40 kilos per second of water vapor. On paper, that sounds like a lot, but compared to the comet's mass, it wasn't nearly enough to change its path in the way observed. This question has been asked before. Back in 2017, a much smaller object, called Oumuamua, passed through the solar system. It also changed its path in a way we couldn't explain. It had no gas jets, no visible coma, just a mystery push. Now, with Atlas doing something similar but on a much bigger scale, scientists are starting to wonder, is this a trend? Are these visitors trying to tell us something about space we don't yet understand? In October 2017, astronomers saw an odd object speed through the solar system. It was named Aumuamua, and it became the first confirmed visitor from another star system. It was small about 400 meters long, but its motion caused a storm of questions. Aumuamua didn't behave like a regular comet. It had no visible tail, no gas jets, and no dust cloud. Yet it moved in a way that could not be explained solely by gravity. It appeared to be pushed by some unknown force. Some scientists suggested hydrogen outgassing. Others thought it could be light pressure. But none of the ideas fully explained what was happening. Now, 
Nearly eight years later, we're watching 3 Atlas do something very similar but on a much larger scale. Atlas is about 20 times wider than Aumuamua and weighs millions of times more. If Aumuamua were a pebble, Atlas would be a mountain. And yet, just like in 2017, astronomers are seeing a steady, residual acceleration that diverges from the forces we know. The similarities are eerie. In both cases, researchers plugged in all the usual variables gravity, sunlight, dust, jets, and still couldn't get the math to work. The more scientists investigate these enigmas, the more questions arise. Could nature really make to objects so distinct from what we know? Or is there a possibility, however small, that these visitors weren't shaped by nature alone? One Harvard professor is asking exactly that, and his answer is sparking debate across the world. When science doesn't have answers, ideas start to stretch. That's what's happening with 3 Atlas. One of the loudest voices in the debate is Dr. Avi Loeb, a professor at Harvard University and head of the Galileo Project. He made headlines in 2018 when he suggested that Oumuamua might be a piece of alien technology. Now, in 2025, he's turning his attention to Atlas. In a recent post, he gave Atlas a score of 6 out of 10 on his Loeb scale as he calls it a rating of how likely an object is to be artificial. That's not a definite assertion, but it's also not a dismissal. 